everyone, this is Pariwolf. I am currently live streaming on my Twitch channel my episodic guide on how to learn Tekken as a Soul Calibur player. This video series will also help you if you are a Tekken player wishing to learn Soul Calibur, but this is geared towards Soul Calibur players because Tekken 7 is on its way and I know a lot of my friends are interested in it. So with that being said, we'll be starting the first episode of this series with inputs and the notation of the video games. So. Uh, in part one of this video, we will be doing all Soul Calibur, and in part two of this video, uh, it will be all Tekken. So, if you want to skip to the Tekken part, it's in the later half. And, uh, with that being said, let's begin. Uh, so, Soul Calibur, just like Tekken, is a game of four buttons. You have your A button, which is your horizontal. Uh, A button, by default, is square on your PlayStation controller and X on your Xbox controller. So if you ever forget, uh, that's what they are. It's easier to have this universal notation just because of the fact that there are Xbox and PlayStation users. So if you were to talk with your Xbox friends, the PlayStation player, about you know certain moves in the game, uh, this universal notation applies to both consoles. So that is why it is used. Um, in case you guys were wondering why uh, all the dumb letters are on the screen. So that answers that question. The next button we're going to be talking about are verticals. Verticals can be sidestepped. They are your B attack. B attacks. Verticals. Uh, the next button is your kick button. Uh, kicks are interesting because they can either be tracking moves or they can be linear. So... The real reason why you would use a kick is just for the frames and the properties, but you'll notice that uh, a weapon has way more range than a kick. So that is why you want to choose those options over the others, etc, etc. Uh, and I forgot to mention that your vertical is triangle by default and Y on Xbox, and your kick button is circle by default on the PlayStation controller, and your uh, it's B on the Xbox controller. So, and then the last button is your guard button. Uh, the guard button is cross on your PlayStation controller and A on your Xbox controller. I know this is way more confusing for Xbox players, but uh, bear with me. Uh, the guard button does exactly what it sounds like. You can block attacks by either uh, standing, excuse me, standing and blocking highs and mids, or blocking low, and avoiding throws, and highs. So those are the four basic buttons of Soul Calibur. Now to move on, we will be having, uh, actually before I go on to that, uh, it's important to note that whenever you see um, the each button in parentheses, that means you hold the input. Uh, and if you see a plus symbol between uh, the letters, that means you press them simultaneously. So for example, uh, this is Yoshimitsu's A plus B. Press A and B together, your horizontal and vertical button. Um, and K plus G, this is his taunt. So those are examples of simultaneous presses. Uh, and then the last one that I wanted to talk about are your slide inputs. Uh, this is notated as like a lowercase letter next to a capitalized letter. So if you have a slide input uh, like Yoshimitsu, it's a just frame, to a slide B, you would type it as, um, we haven't gotten to the directions yet, but basically it's down and then lowercase a into capital B. So that is how you notate slide inputs. So that's, that's the notation for all the... Uh, buttons, you're not going to need to know anything beyond that, so now we're going to go on to directions. Now, on first player's perspective, uh, you will see this little nifty picture I made in the bottom left corner. Uh, sorry if it's too small for you, but... Basically, uh, to press forward, that is your 6. Uh, when you're not pressing anything, you're at neutral 5. When you're retreating, you are pressing 4. When you are sidewalking to your right, you are pressing 2. When you are sidewalking to your left, you're pressing 8. And then the diagonals are as they correspond. 
I'm not going to uh, treat you like a child. I'm sure you can, with deductive reasoning, figure out the rest. Um, and this uh, may confuse some people but uh, at first, but when you're on two-player side, the notation is still the same. It's just flipped in reverse. Uh, so forward is still six. Retreating is still four. Sidewalking to your right on two-player perspective is eight. Up, basically. Then down is pressing two. So really, all if you can get the first player notation down, the second player, if you're like trying to do 6B on, on this side, or 4B, and you do 4B on this side, they're both 6B, even though the uh, directions uh, appear to be different at first. I know that can be confusing for some people, uh, but just try to keep uh, your one player side uh, in mind when you're learning this notation. And what can help you feel out the notation is by looking at your keyboard. So you'll notice that on your keyboard, on the right side, usually, there is a number pad that looks similar to this, and you can just feel out your number pad, like pretend you're doing directions uh, for moves, and that will give you the feeling like, oh, pressing forward is six. Oh yeah, and, and five would be the middle of your like uh, D-pad or analog stick. So that, that's my advice for like trying to uh, get to know this a little better. Um, that's really all there is to the basic notation of Soul Calibur. Okay, and we will be resuming the second part of this video, the Tekken portion, the one that most of you have been waiting on. Uh, and to begin, uh, you can see the directions on the bottom left corner. Uh, you would just pronounce them like they're English, so like, holding back is back, being neutral is neutral, holding forward is forward. Uh, the slashes mean that they are pressed together, like the direction, so like U slash F is up and forward together as opposed to the letter U, then the letter F, which would be up, then forward. So watch out for those slashes because they're uh, kind of important. But sometimes people are lazy in like Twitch chats and on forums and they'll just type them right next to each other like UFF or UB or DB or DIF. So, uh, Sometimes people don't write the slash, but you're supposed to write the slash. Uh, that's just like the Western notation, so so bear with it. Uh, you will also be seeing the plus symbol next with the like unlike number notation in Soul Calibur. You know how you have like six A, for example. Uh, in in this game, you would have your direction, then the symbol plus, then the button on your controller. So like forward. A would be like forward plus A uh, and with that being said we're gonna um, go on to what the actual buttons are so in Tekken you have a four button game as well and your four buttons are left punch which is one and you can see that it's square on your PlayStation controller or X on your Xbox controller so this is your left punch and you do a left punch, just as it sounds like. So that's that's one. If you ever see it typed out, it's one. And now two is your right punch, which is triangle on PlayStation controller, and then it is Y on Xbox controller. Then you have three, which is your left kick. Three. I am doing three which is cross on the PlayStation controller and it is A on your Xbox controller. And then the last button is four. Your right kick, four, four. So, um, the only real differences here in notation is that your hold inputs are going to have an asterisk instead of parentheses. You will also See, instead of slide inputs, you know how in Soul Calibur you have like the lowercase letter and then the capital letter? Uh, in this game, you'll have your the tilde symbol on like the top left corner of the keyboard, that squiggly thing. That looks like an accent mark, tilde. That's how you uh, denote uh, a slide input. So say I wanted to slide from right kick to left kick, it would be 4, tilde, 3. That's just an example. 
Uh, and so I'll just say some moves out loud. So this is one. This is down forward one. Oops. I know the input's looking sloppy. Yeah, down forward one. Okay. Um, down two. Down two. Uh, back three. Back three. Up forward four. Forward one plus two. Um, well, I doesn't have any slide input, so I can't give you an example of that, but uh, that's really all that's necessary to know. I mean, if you know the Soul Calibur notation, it doesn't take that much longer to learn this. Um, and then the rest of the stuff will be covered in future videos, so I hope the basic notation has been clear enough uh, whenever you're talking about Tekken.